Me expecting my face ID to work? Absolutely not. Good morning, friends. I have been so run down lately. You know those weeks where like, it literally feels like the world is crumbling around you. It's not that bad things are happening to me, it's that bad things are happening to other people and I am in the middle of it kind of. Then I got sick, then my dishwasher broke, like it's just been one of those weeks and I really, really need a nice, self-care day i'm gonna do all of my favorite things today get yourself a little face mask or like make yourself a little tea or just do something that feels really self-carey so that we can like be in this together but my first step is i'm gonna make myself a decaf coffee i'm gonna sit my ass on the couch and i'm gonna watch a youtube video taste test i mean i have this every morning but 10 out of 10. i honestly love decaf like i genuinely cannot taste the difference let's see Who's posted on YouTube? If we have any new content to watch, we do. We have a vlog from Tara Michelle. She's someone I really enjoy watching. She just makes really like cozy home vlogs. Um, but someone else that I've been loving is Fernanda Ramirez. She just has the vibe. But right now I am gonna watch Tara Michelle's new vlog. Leave your YouTuber recommendations in the comments because I feel like we'll all have similar-ish taste. It's Sunday, it's been actually quite a busy weekend. I've been like... That was literally so lovely. I probably watched YouTube for like an hour, I'm not gonna lie. But like, it's raining outside and it's my self-care day. But now I am gonna do something that's good for my body because honestly, when I think of self-care, I think I immediately think of like doing things that are easy, eating chocolate, watching TV, doing a face mask, like all of the relaxing things. But actually sometimes self-care is like taking care of your body, doing work if you need to, to catch up. Like self-care is so much more than just doing the immediate like relaxing things, if that makes sense. This is my long-winded way of saying I'm gonna go to the gym. This is incredibly humbling. I'm gonna get in the shower right now and wash the shit out of my hair. I just had brekkie, I obviously showered, and now we're gonna get ready, but I'm gonna also like do some self care things. So I wanna dermaplane off my mustache, so stay tuned to see how that goes, and then I want to let these eye patches sit. And I think I probably should dry my hair as well because I need to leave in 40 minutes. I'm going to get my nails done, which we'll talk about in a little bit. I love these eye masks. Like I keep them in the fridge and they feel so luxurious and calming. But these gel ones, they always slide down my face. And like, there's just nothing you can really do about it. Wow, okay. My skin is so dry that that wasn't like the smoothest experience. Um, I think some people use like oil on their face, but anyway, it definitely worked. Now I'm gonna get ready. As I mentioned to you guys, I have a nail appointment. My new fun thing is that I get my nails done. Recently, my friend Beth, who lives here in Melbourne, she has a YouTube channel, by the way, that's how we became friends. And her content is amazing. I'll link her down below, but she has a huge influence on me because she's just the coolest. And she gets her nails done at this place called Zoe, Zoe Beauty Bar. And they do Biab, which is like a builder gel and it's meant to be way better for your nails. And I went three weeks ago and got them done. I have never had a manicure last this long. Like by this stage, three weeks, I would easily have you know, three nails missing, I would have chips, I would have cracks. I have been toying with what I'm gonna get all morning. I think today I wanna just get like a silvery chrome or like pearl nails or whatever this is called. I think I might go for a little shop afterwards since I'll already be in the city. Just, I just love shopping, I honestly do. Very 
dark today for some reason. I've been having this debate on my close friend's story. Like some people think I'm brunette. I'm very convinced that I'm still a dark blonde, but I will say right now it's pushing it. This is the fit, just very simple. I got these Converse in my last vlog and I'm literally obsessed. I'm gonna bring this little blue bag to match the jeans. I have got my phone, AirPods, lip balm, I need an umbrella and I need my tram card because I need to get a tram. Last looks at the before. They're just very grown out, but they're so cute. I cannot wait to show you guys the after. I'm not joking, I left my apartment with one minute until my tram was meant to arrive. So I'm literally running. And when I run, like I'm not a good runner, so I literally could not breathe, it was crazy. But I made the tram, which is honestly a miracle. Also, I forgot my umbrella, but it's not raining and the sun's coming out. So I feel like the universe is kind of on my side today. I wanted to film a lot more in there, but they need both your hands like at all times when you're getting biab done. They look so cute. I will say though, the photo that I gave her, the nails are a lot more like white silver and these are a lot more like nude, like the Hailey Bieber nails. I'll show you properly later, but they're honestly still so cute. That was literally the most relaxing experience of my life. Like they were playing this like jazz lounge playlist. You know those coffee shop cozy cafe jazz playlist you can play on YouTube. They just had one of those looped and she was like massaging my hands. I honestly wanted to fall asleep. It was so nice. But now I'm back outside in cold, rainy Melbourne and I am walking to Swanson Street, which is a great street in the city. Ethan busks on this street. I edit my YouTube videos at a Starbucks on this street and I'm gonna go to Glassons. They have a Glassons there. I just wanna have a little look around. Actually been a great walk right now I'm on Burke Street which is like one of the main shopping strips of the city I still like hardly know this city at all but Burke Street I know is very busy all the time there's always buskers along here there's like massive department stores it's a vibe and it's a Saturday so it's like super busy today ordered a Starbucks and I got a dark chocolate latte which is like one of their autumn specials here and I'm gonna taste it right now mmm it just tastes like a hot chocky also I obviously got decaf because it's 3 p.m. and I don't drink coffee anymore oh my god I'm having the best little girly day ever I literally have been lost walking around in circles for like 10 minutes but I finally found it Chaos in here, but I have seven things to try on. Some are like basics, some are dresses that I might wear next weekend. I honestly am not expecting to buy anything. I just want to try stuff on and have fun because that's just so fun. I did, in fact, spend a little bit of money, but I love everything I got so much. Like, I'm so excited to show you guys. I just like waft down some sushi and now I'm getting the tram home. The one thing about me is that even if a bus is like 10 minutes faster, I will still get the tram because we have buses in Sydney, but we don't have trams like this. So I'm getting on the tram. I'm home. Guys, I literally had the best day ever. Like what a day, what a day. I just, felt like the main character today. I feel so fulfilled, so happy, honestly thriving. As you can see, I bought myself some flowers. We're gonna put these in a little vase because flowers make me so happy. So I got three things, they're literally all blue, which the girl at the checkout was like, are you into blue? And I was like, yeah, babe. 
I really am. First thing I got is this plain navy t-shirt. I wish you guys could feel this material. Then I got the cutest corset of all time. This is so gorge. I am definitely going to wear this so much, especially to like concerts, out for drinks, like a real nighttime vibe. This dress is literally the most flattering, like form fitting dress ever. I couldn't not buy this. It's this stunning blue color and it's really long like it's a full maxi it goes right down to the ground then i went to coles which is just my local supermarket i bought those flowers which you guys just saw because it's my treat yourself 2011 day if you guys get that reference we're literally best friends i bought myself some little treats so this is a new obsession of mine it's called bobby 10 out of 10 these are like four dollars each which is quite expensive but oh my god they're so good i got two of these and i went to the pick and mix section and i got these dark chocolate caramels these are my favorite ever and i thought we could have some chalky and watch a movie tonight <laughs> God, taking my makeup off is literally the best feeling ever like I feel so clean right now oh I feel so fresh normally at this stage once my skin is like clean and dry I would put on my moisturizer and any serums that I want to use but I have a little activity that I want to do first I've recently purchased an LED light <laughs> mask okay this is so scary. Oh my God. Is this necessary? Absolutely not. Do you need to go and buy one of these? Absolutely not. But this one was actually relatively affordable. Some of these masks are literally like $500. This one was like 80. This is one of those skincare things that actually has scientific backing. Like there's actually studies to prove that this does work in reducing fine lines and wrinkles, improving skin texture, all of these things. So it comes with the mask bit. Oh my God. I literally look straight out of my worst nightmare. Oh, it's on. That was so easy. So we have red, green, blue, yellow. Oh my God. It's so bright. Purple, and light blue and white. It's on and I've got my 30 minute timer set and I'm gonna watch some Selling Sunset in my mask. What a vibe. I literally look so scary. I have to take a photo of this. Me expecting my face ID to work? Absolutely not. <laughs> I literally have marks on my face from that device. It wasn't too uncomfortable. It, it looks a lot worse than it was, but it's definitely not the most comfortable. I'll keep you guys updated if I notice any, you know, improvements. My main problem with my skin is texture. I feel like I've talked about this. Oh my God, I got moisturizer in my hair. I just have a lot of closed comedones. I have comedonal acne, which it's like just a bunch of bumps all over my face and I still don't really know what the trigger is. I've been on Roaccutane, I've done literally everything. I've been on antibiotics, I've been on um, Differin, like retinol, all of this stuff. And so it's something that I'm constantly trying to fix. But what I've been doing lately is skin cycling and it's going quite well. I'm, I won't see major results for the next few weeks but I do notice in my cheeks especially the texture is much better anyway I think I'm gonna order some food soon I'm feeling some kind of noodle soup either like laksa ramen or pho I don't know which one yet but it's so cold outside and like I'm in the track suit it's winter I want to have a glass of red wine and a little noodle soup I'm on uber eats I think I'm gonna get ramen I'm actually so excited i had ramen the other week with ethan for the first time in so long and it was so delicious oh my god i love i just love like a noodle soup they also have vegetarian gyoza i used to love gyoza like i used to fuck up 
gyoza. Japanese has always been one of my favorite cuisines, but I haven't actually had gyoza in so long. So I'm definitely gonna get those as well. Okay, my Uber Eats has been placed. This actually reminded me, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before or not, but I actually have a ban from um, DoorDash <laughs> because when I first got DoorDash, I went absolutely feral on like the promo code. There was this co specific code that like some podcasters have where if you're a new member, you get 50% off or something like that. So I would keep making new accounts and getting the discount. But of course, like I only had one address and I was so stupid and I kept my name the same. And I think by the time I got to like my fifth account, they obviously caught on. And one day I was trying to order something and they were like, no, like your order can't be placed. And I looked it up and I was blacklisted. I'm trying to decide if I want a glass of red wine or if I want one of those passion fruit drinks that I bought. Do I just have the passion fruit beverage? I think that's what I do. I also don't need to drink to have a good time, but I will say I love a glass of red wine. It feels healing to me. And also my parents are like so into wine. We have gone to so many like wineries with them. I've been to Italy where like we go tour some wineries. Like it's such a shared experience. It's not so much about the drinking. For me, it's about like tasting the flavor. I, I know so many different varieties of wine now because of my parents, like they're just so into it. So wine for me is more like an experience, you know? And all of these wines, I don't know if you guys will be able to see a little bit. We have some wines up here and all of these wines uh, we have collected from like trips and stuff with my parents to different wineries. So it's like a really nice little experience. Cheers. It honestly tastes like I'm drinking like a fun cocktail or something. Smells so good. Gyoza, yum. And another one, which I'm gonna put in the fridge for tomorrow. And then we have the dry ramen ingredients and the broth, which is like a miso broth, which is my absolute favorite kind of ramen broth. Like a super creamy miso broth is so good. This literally smells so good. I'm gonna put this in the microwave because I just have a thing about my food needing to be like really hot. This looks literally unbelievable. Oh my God, I am so excited. Oh, I love ramen. I'm obviously gonna take this straight to the couch, but let's do a quick taste test together. Okay, this is the gyoza. Yum, I'm gonna taste the broth. Fire, that is so good. It needs to go in the microwave for longer though, which I'm surprised by. <laughs> How to lose a guy in 10 days time. And I'm eating these yummy little chockies. I just finished How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I, before that, I watched like an episode of Selling Sunset, but it turns out I was literally on the last episode. So I just watched this movie and it was really cute. It's very cheesy 2000s rom-com, like very trash, but really cute. And now I get the TikTok sound and the obsession with the yellow dress 10 out of 10 really enjoyed it it's like 9 p.m i'm gonna pour myself a bath get all cozy get all warm read my book in the bath because i have fallen so off the reading game if you guys know me then you know that i love reading i always have and i had the goal of 30 books this year but i'm stuck on this one book and i literally just like cannot get past it. So I'm literally just gonna buy a new book. I wanna get Emily Henry's new book and I'm gonna read that in the bath. Mm -hmm. 